Hello and welcome to the video. Matthew here and we're going to look at question 6 which is a 30 mark question on differentiation. So question 6 part A is worth 5 marks and we have to differentiate 3x plus sine x. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to differentiate 3x and remember if we have a term x to the power of n that goes to n times by x to the power of n minus 1 when you differentiate it. So here n is 1 so it's going to be 1 times by x to the power of 1 minus 1. So in other words it's just going to be 1 times by x to the power of 0 and x to the power of 0 is just 1 so 1 times by 1 is just 1. So in our case it's going to be 3 by 1 which is just 3 so therefore dy dx is equal to 3 but then of course we do have to differentiate the sine x as well and differentiating sine x that will just go to cos x so therefore the answer is dy dx is equal to 3 plus cos x these formulas are on page 25 of the formula tables book as well so if you don't remember them you can have a look in that but that's our answer anyway for part a and now we're going to look at part b which is also worth five marks so here we have to differentiate cos inverse of x over 4 with respect to x and again we have a formula for this in our formula tables book on page 25 so let's have a look so it's this formula down here so cos inverse of x over a when you differentiate that you get minus 1 over the square root of a squared minus x squared so now we have to mark or x and or a and then pop that into the formula and then we should get our answer so in our case here x is obviously x and then our 4 is a so the formula will be dy dx is equal to minus 1 over the square root of a squared minus x squared so now we pop in 4 for a and we get minus 1 over the square root of 4 squared minus x squared and obviously 4 squared is 16 so we can write that as minus 1 over the square root of 16 minus x squared and that is our answer for part b of the question minus 1 over 16 minus x squared so now let's have a look at part c which is worth 10 marks so here we have to differentiate cos inverse of 4 over x with respect to x now this is slightly trickier as in all of the formulas you have x over a this is essentially a over x which we can't do so we're going to have to rewrite cos inverse of 4 over x as cos inverse of 4 over x over 1 like this so now our 1 is our a and our 4 over x is our x. There's another step to this and we must multiply our answer by the derivative of this part here. So don't forget to do that at the end. So again it's going to be minus 1 over the square root of 1 squared minus 4 over x squared. And we multiply that by the derivative of 4 over x. So remember that 4 over x is equal to 4x to the power of minus 1. And differentiating 4x to the power of minus 1 we get minus 4x to the power of minus 2. So we're going to multiply this by minus 4x to the power of minus 2. So then we get 4x to the power of minus 2 over the square root of 1 minus 16 over x squared. Now we can write 4x to the power of minus 2 as 4 over x squared. And we can write 1 minus 16 over x squared as x squared minus 16 over x squared. Which leaves us with 4 over x squared times by the square root of x squared minus 16 over x squared. So there we have our answer, the derivative of cos inverse of 4 over x. So now we're going to have a look at part d, which is the final part of the question, and it's also worth 10 marks. So we're told that if y is equal to cos x by sin x, we have to write dy dx in the form cos nx, where n is an integer. So we have y is equal to cos x times by sin x. So to differentiate that, we're going to use the product rule, which is on page 25 of our formula and tables book. So it's this rule up here. So we need to work out our u and then du dx and then we need to work out our v and dv dx and then multiply u by dv dx and then add that to v times by du dx. So I'm going to say that our u is cos x and our v is sin x. So that means that du dx is going to be minus sin x and dv dx will be cos x. So remember the rule is u dv dx which will be cos x by cos x plus v du dx which will be sin x by minus sin x. So cos x by cos x is going to be cos squared x and sine x by minus sine x will be minus sine squared x. And now we're going to look at page 14 of our formula and tables book to write this in the form cos nx. So we have cos squared x minus sine squared x, which is the same thing as cos squared a minus sine squared a. And as we can see here, that that's equal to cos 2a, or in our case, cos 2x. So therefore, our answer is cos 2x with our n being 2. So that's our answer for part D of the question, the final part of the question, and the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope I helped.